Ross County players get across the front, do you think? You would think so from this angle. Will he have a shot? That's the question mark. Oh, and it's gone straight in. You don't need anyone to make a touch on it. He drifted towards the back post. Everybody missed it. Everybody in dark blue. Everybody in light blue. And Ross County have the lead through Ian Baggers. He's put a ball in the box that nobody can do either with. It's unbelievable. There's great pace in the ball. It's lofty. But at the same time, it dips just enough. Looks as if the fitness is starting to play. Regan Charles Cook comes inside! And it's a great individual goal. It's said he's grown in the game. You can see his celebration. He did get a goal in the Bedford Cup against Montrose in that game earlier in the season. But he comes inside on that strong left foot, curls the ball into the bottom right-hand corner, and that should be game set and match. Yeah, that, sh that should certainly be game over. It kills the game, any hope that's still an Albion had. You know, I think he's just sort of put it into an area there, whether he's going for a shot or whether it's a it's a ball into the box for Mackay. He, he, he's, he's guided it in there and he's asked the question. But It's a nice ball from Peyton, too short. He's continued his run here. He's going to size up a shot at goal. He is, you know, that is fabulous! Harry Peyton! It's a Canadian classic from the Ross County midfielder. And the drought is over! 570 long minutes have passed since Ross County scored a competitive goal. And Harry Peyton laces it into the bottom corner. And gives the Staggies a shock lead in Leaf. I've got to say, it all comes from Ollie Shaw. I've been critical in the early part of the game about his hold-up play, his link-up play. That's why, because he's got it in his locker. He can bring players in the game. Harry... He's gone on to this year. Early chance for County. And an early goal for County! 34 seconds on the clock! And Ollie Shaw drives into the Aberdeen net. The lowest scorers in the top flight have stunned Aberdeen inside the opening minutes. And Shaw does the business again for the Staggies. Well, you have to say, can I just say, there's not even a member of the Aberdeen backroom staff on the bench yet. Some of them are just coming out and they're going to have missed the goal, but that's the space we spoke about exploiting. Johnny Hayes is going to play high. There's going to be space in behind him. Charlie Lacken won the ball ever so well. We talk about a natural goal score. That's why everyone was so disappointed. Ollie Shaw missed that big chance last weekend again. Tilson, oh, he's played it through for Billy Mackay, who could be in here. It's Mackay for a... Th yes! It's, it's ruthless. It's brilliant from Billy Mackay, who scores a 30-minute double. And Kilmarnock are being absolutely put to the sword. Well, it's a simple ball again, you know, there's nothing flashy about it. Jordan Tilson, I think he may have just got a free kick if Billy hadn't got in the end of it. Kirk Broadford, I have no idea where he's going. I did say ahead of the game that can you get the ball in behind him? Can you get the ball down the side of him? At 35, 36 years of age, you lose your mobility. But Billy Mackay, he's had to be patient, he's had to wait to get himself into the team. But the simplicity of the goal or the ball over the top.